Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jessica Kristen. And on this channel, we talk all things faith, fashion, and lifestyle. So today I'm giving you guys a nasty gal the name of that sounds crazy, but Nasty Girl Try On Haul. I'll be featuring coats and holiday looks that you can be inspired by. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are an oldie but goodie, I truly appreciate your love and support. You already know the drill. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get started into the video. Let's talk about this very first look here and this is so beautiful and pretty much speaks to my style it's classy it's elegant it's sophisticated playful and feminine all in one it's definitely holiday christmas and new year's appropriate the skirt is from nasty girl but the top is not the skirt in my opinion runs a little bit big i ordered this in a size four thinking that that was going to push it normally i wear a size six but I ordered the four because I believe that it was this one or an eight. I can't really remember what was available at the time, but I figured that the four would probably just make it. But lo and behold, it actually ended up being too, not too big, but I feel that I could afford to actually go down another size so that it could fit around my waist. If you see in the video here, you'll see where there's quite some space that's available, but I'm not complaining. It still fits very well, but I think if I wanted it to sit on my true waistline, more like um, higher waist, then I could afford to go down. If you wanna go down a size or maybe even two, it'll be okay because there's actually stretch in the fabric as well. Um, or maybe I'm just losing pounds and I don't really notice it, but I don't think so. I just think that the skirt runs big. Anyway, this skirt is absolutely beautiful. Look at the shine, look at the movements. I absolutely love it. And I think it's that perfect classy length. Anybody from any age range, well, not any age range, but anyone I would say, you know, mid 20s to your 40s, 50s, even 60s. I mean, like, why not? The length is perfect. It covers pretty much everything. It goes down to your calves. I am almost 5'5", five five, and I normally wear about four and a half to five inch heels. I don't feel that this would really be appropriate for someone who is like five, four and under, just because it's a longer skirt and it would end up taking up a lot of your leg space and making you look shorter than you might already be. So if you are someone who wants to look longer, then maybe go for a shorter skirt. So there's a zipper in the back and a hook and eye closure. It's fully lined and then on top of it, there is a layer of black mesh. It's definitely a nice quality. I did see that a couple of the pieces have fallen off, just a couple, not a lot. So I don't think that it's anything to be alarmed over or anything that would make you want to send it back for quality issues. I think that whenever you have um, a fabric of this sort, whether it's sequins, glitter or whatever, you know, beading, it just comes with the territory that a couple might fall off here and there. Now, if I saw a whole bunch, then that to me is alarming, but I didn't. So I think that it's a pretty good quality and I do think that it's worth the price. You can wear this to your New Year's party that's coming up, any office party. This is actually perfect for an office party. It's not too tight looking. It has enough pizzazz and fun for the holidays, but it's long enough of a skirt to make a statement and still be office appropriate. The only thing that I would change about this skirt, if I could, I know I can't, but I'm just saying, is that I wish that there was more of the sequins on the skirt. So in between the layers, I don't know if you can see it in the side by side, in between the layers is probably about four inches of black space. So I wish that it was more dense, like the sequence was more dense and that would make it more fuller. And I think it would really improve the quality of the skirt as well. And so this way, if sequins do fall off over time, then it won't look so bald headed and patchy. You know what I'm saying? So since we're on the holiday topic, let's get into the look that I'm wearing right now. When I saw this on the website, I was like, okay, I definitely have to try this and see what it's hitting for, you know? So I am a little disappointed, but we'll talk about that later. If you are the lady who likes to give a statement 
you like to do things different, you like to stand out, then this is definitely going to be your look for the upcoming holiday. As you can see, I'm wearing a jumpsuit underneath and on top is this fringe jacket. Now the jumpsuit was already purchased from somewhere else. It's not from Nasty Gal, but I wanted you to just be able to focus on the jacket. And I mean, really, how can you miss it anyway? Because it's such a statement. It is such an eye grabber. I mean, when you have this on, you are definitely going to be turning heads. That is for sure. You're definitely going to have people asking you, where did you get that? I need to know the details. The movement on it is superb. I mean, when you turn, when you walk, when you shimmy, whatever you want to do in it. I mean, the movement on this jacket is amazing. Now, I will say that this is not a jacket for warmth. So if you are going somewhere that you might be outside for the New Year's, uh, I don't know. I know on the East Coast, a lot of people go to see the ball drop. This is not it. I mean, I don't think anybody would want to wear this outside anyway. But just giving you guys the warning, it's not warm. It's literally, it's, it's pretty thin. Yeah, it's pretty thin and um, there is no lining. Hold on, let me check. It's lined, <laughs> it's lined, but it's a thin lining. It's just a very lightweight jacket. It's more so just for a look rather than to be practical, you know what I'm saying? It does have a button closure. I didn't think to record it um, closed, so next time, sorry about that. So let's talk about the fringe. Now, the downside of this jacket is that it is literally the Christmas tree stencil, like literally. There's no way around it to try and describe it as anything else. It is what it is and it ain't what it ain't. And this is definitely Christmas tree stencil. Actually, to be honest with you, when I was looking at the website, I didn't think that it was stencil. I thought that it was like beading or of some sort or more like a fabric fringe, not like a plasticky fringe. But that's what I get for not reading the description. I just went off of what I saw. And I'm a little disappointed because stencil was falling off all over the floor. This isn't a jacket that's going to last. Maybe you'll get a good one, two, maybe three wears out of it. Not sure because if you're wearing it all night, a lot of stencil is going to be falling. When I'm trying things on, I want to be as honest as possible with you guys. I don't want you to order something and be like, that girl told me, blah, 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 blah. And that wasn't the case. We're not having that here, so I'm just gonna tell you what it is. You know, some people, like myself, really care about cost per wear, like how many times am I going to be able to wear this item, and quality things, and so I guess it is what it is when you order from certain websites, you know that that comes with the territory, that not everything is going to be like top-notch quality. Like the last skirt, for the price point, I do wish that it was more density on the fringe, um, here you can see that there's quite some space between this layer, this row of fringe, and then this row. So, what you know, like, come on, really? They could have, I think, could have put like another, maybe two in between here, two more rows. Yeah, yeah. I feel like they could have done a better job as far as construction wise, but hey, you know, now the hat that I'm wearing with this, also from Nasty Gal, and I love this hat. It's a winner for me. I believe it's like a felt fabric, champagne gold belts looking detail going around the hat. Now with this, I think that I have a pretty small head, I think. And the hat is one size. So for me, I'm like, oof, I just, it wasn't tight, but I don't feel that if I was to wear my wigs or a weave or anything like that, that it would fit comfortably. So do keep in mind that the hat is one size and I believe that the hat runs a little small. If you know me, you know that I love a good blazer. You know I love a good suit. If I could have a suit, then I am a happy girl. This look is perfect for a Christmas work party, Christmas, church party do they do christmas church parties i don't think so my church doesn't 
I've never been to a church that has a Christmas church party, so I take that back. But anyway, if you're going to your work Christmas party, then these are definitely going to be perfect. It has that business element. If you don't want to wear a dress, if you don't want anything sparkly or shiny, but you want to still have something with character and pizzazz and some flair, then this suit is definitely going to work for you. Check out this blazer and these pants. OMG, it's unique. It shows personality. And I think if you could wear something like this, you're pretty confident, ladies. It's a crushed velvet material in a floral pattern. Between the fabric choice, the pattern, and the front tie, I was sold. I know that for some, this might just be a lot to put together and wear together, but I know that for some, it's right up your alley. So if this is right up your alley, comment below. <laughs> the pants are fully lined. So that's a plus to me. As you can see, they have like this green lining and it's very soft. They're not high waist. I thought that they were going to be high waist, but they're not. Oh, and I did get them in a size six. These are a size, yeah, these are a US size six. What I really love about the blazer is it also has pockets. They're nice and deep, cinches and snatches your waist. It'll help give that nice hourglass shape that every lady wants. So the blazer is fully lined and it comes with these shoulder pads as well. The fabric is very soft and it, it's very, um, what's the word? I'm going like this. <laughs> it's very movie. I can't come up with the word, you guys. But anyway, so the thing that I love about the shoulder pads is it helps give the blazer some structure. So now we're transitioning out of holiday looks and we're going into our everyday casual. And this is a purple cable knit cropped sweater jacket and it's super warm. I think it's kind of like bomber jacket style, but bomber sweater knit cable knit bomber. So yeah, it's a it's like it's, it's a mixture of that. I love the collar. It stands up. It's very thick, very warm. Um, definitely a good quality sweater. It has a zipper at the front and two snap closures at the neck. So it's very easy to come on and off. I love the length, it's really cute. And even though it's short, it's still very, very warm. If you're doing something casual and you're just running out really quickly in the evening, even in the daytime, you can wear this. It's very casual and it's very comfortable. Now, I don't know if you can see, but it's very, very soft, very thick. I mean, like, I don't know if you guys are able to see. Made in Turkey, okay, okay, that's classy. I think that if it's true to size, I don't really see myself wearing this with a shirt underneath, maybe a tank top, something like that, and wear as though it was its own top. It actually came in another color, which I was more interested in that color, but it sold out. I think it was like an oatmeal um, beige kind of color, and I like that one because it's more versatile, but I still like the purple, definitely like the it color. And so I paired it with a pair of denim. I got that I don't even know how many years ago. These are my favorite go-to jeans because they are so, so comfortable. Okay, so moving right along, let's get into this next look. And this is your chic going out. I'm sorry, who are you? <laughs> Casually. It's one of my favorites. And so anyway, this sweater is definitely a quality sweater. It's super soft. The fringe on it gives it a lot of personality and playfulness, of course. It's stretchy as well, and it feels like I'm touching it. it. Feels like it's like a faux mohair. And I love that it has so much detail. I mean, like there's this detail in the top, like the knitted detail, and then there's a different like rib knit on the collar, and then you have the fringe, and then down here it's different. There's a few different patterns, but with the same texture. And so it all works very well, cozy and comfy. So that was a plus. I got this sweater in a size medium. I didn't want to get a size small because I wanted it to kind of give a little bit of an oversized look. I could have even went with a large if I wanted it to be more oversized. I feel like the medium still gave the look that I wanted. So I believe that it worked out and I paired it with these brown leather shorts. Now these shorts are real leather and they are 
awesome. Normally you would see people wearing their leather shorts and like black, you know? So I thought it was really nice to go with a different option and try a nice chocolate brown. They're almost knee length. They come with pockets front and back. I didn't even notice that they actually come lines. Now this is something I couldn't show you guys while I was wearing them, but they're lines, so it's a pretty good quality short. So I think it's worth the price point that they were sold at. Um, and it's very supple, the leather is soft. So I would definitely say these are a 10 out of 10, do recommend. I just wore the same black hat that I wore in one of the previous looks. I would say that this is definitely one of my favorites as well. So now that we're done with our casual looks, let's get into winter coats. I love everything about dressing for the fall. Now, not necessarily the winter. I hate the winter, it's miserable. From the cold and the snow, if you live on the East Coast, comment below, let me know where you're from. But I absolutely hate everything about winter, but the one thing that I do love is a nice coat. And so let's talk about these coats. If you guys have been listening to my videos before, then you know that I'm not really a fan of oversized anything, really oversized blazers, oversized coats. But I figured that I would give it a whirl and see what happens. I love everything about this coat except for the shoulder pads. I'm just being honest. Now, I think that it does look cool. The oversized masculine big shoulder pad coats those are in right now, especially with color. It's just not me. I prefer something that's tailored and more of a find. Now, <laughs> I'm laughing because in a way, I kind of feel like it reminds me of Beetlejuice. I think his name was like Shrunken Head or something like that, where he had this really little pea head and he had these huge shoulders. I don't know. That's just what I think of when I look at this coat, but at the same time, it's really, really cute. So I don't know, comment below if you're getting that whole shrunken head Beetlejuice idea too, or if it's just me. Now, if you agree, I'm not offended because I'm saying it, I'm putting it out, so I'm really not mad. But yeah, um, it's giving, it's very much giving little head vibes right now. Very much little head vibes. It has this textured faux mohair going on and it's fully lined. As you can see, it closes very neatly around my hips, there's no pulling. And this I ordered in a size six. I decided to get my actual size and I think that I like how the sizing fits. It has two pockets on the front that are also non-functional. They're there just for the style. I think that it's warm. I do feel that it is worth the price point. When I saw this pink coat, I saw that it also came in the blue color. Usually blue is like my go-to color versus pink. I just wanted to make sure that I'll be able to show you guys both options so you could see which one you like or which one you think that would best suit your personality. See my facial expressions when I put on the blue and that's kind of typical for me. Now the one downfall that I will say about the coat is the fact that I had to steam the mess out of it. And I steamed this probably like two or three good times and there still were wrinkles in it. So when you wear this, you can't really just pop it out the bag and go. You're probably gonna have to steam it quite a few times. So let's veer away from the color and let's go into something a little bit more neutral. I know that normally I have a ton of color on this channel, but one thing that I always did want is a classic trench coat. And so when I saw this one, I thought that this was perfect. I love everything about it. It's just perfection in my eyes. I mean, yeah. So I got it in a size six and it fit me perfectly. I do not have any complaints about the sizing. I really like how it looks as it's closed and it contours the body and gives you shape and accentuates your, and accentuates your waist. I also like how it looks open. It gives more of that cool, chill and relaxing type of look. So I guess it just depends on the look that you're going for. What I really, really like about this trend, you can see that it has this double layer going on in the collar as it helps add dimension and flair to something that's normally just basic, I guess. Not only does it have the belt on the waist, but it also has this belt-like detail around the cuffs, which I thought was pretty cool. Tall girl friendly, won't look crazy on you. And yeah, you can't really go wrong with a classic trench. You could put this on with anything. You can wear this with a dress, you can wear this with a suit, you can wear this with basic jeans, you can wear this even with a sweatsuit. So the greatest thing about 
trench coats is that you can wear it in so many different ways and I do feel that it's worth the coin that you'll be spending on it it has a nice body a nice weight it feels good and it has pretty good construction as well which is something that I'm a stickler for and I pay attention to even though we only have a couple days left until Christmas, we still have a few more left until New Year's. So I hope that this was something that you were able to find some inspiration and also be able to find some outfits for you to go to your parties or even some bomb coat so you can just wear out for the rest of the winter. Anyway, guys, forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I love you so much. Bye.